Welcome to the exercise four, create Kant for the corridor modeling for rail quick start course. In this exercise, you will learn how to create a Kant alignment for the mainline corridor using the Kant tools. Kant is the rotation of the rails on the approach to and through a horizontal curve. The Kant tools compute how the rails will transition from normal Kant to a fully canted section and back again. A typical Kant workflow is to create the Kant in the geometry file. The reason for this is because Kant is a geometric alignment. We will also create a speed table, add a speed range, calculate the Kant and review and edit as required. The first thing that we need to do is to be in the file that holds the rail geometry. So we're going to go to the menu option for file. We're going to hit the browse button and we're going to select the rail geometry file. Once the file is open, we're then going to go to the rail workflow and we're going to go to the Kant tools and we're going to go first of all to create a speed table. When you select the speed table icon, you'll be prompted to locate your alignment. So we're going to pick our center line alignment and it brings the speed table editor. There is already a speed table in here that runs the full length of our scheme. But what we're going to do, we're going to create two more rows so that our track will change speed as it goes through the tunnel section. At this moment in time, I don't need to see the table editor diagram, so I'm just going to toggle that off. And then I'm just going to add a new row. Now the tunnel section starts at 4050 and the speed we want for, to go through the tunnel is 85 kilometers per hour and you can see there if I click on it you can see in the display currently it starts at 4050 and we want to stop it where it comes out of the tunnel and to do that we need to create another speed range. And this is going to start at 8300. And the speed is going to go back to 120 kph. So there you can see the three speed ranges that we've got for our track. We also want to give this uh, speed table a scheme name. So where it says speed one, right click rename and we're going to call this express and just select OK. I'm now going to close the speed table panel. The next step is to create the cant. So I'm going to go back to the create cant tool. Again locate my geometric center line. We're going to go from the start to the end. The speed scheme that we're using is the speed scheme that we just specified, which was express. We're now specifying the rail gauge and we're going to pick 1.502 here. The applied constant is the applied constant that is used in the equilibrium equation to calculate the equilibrium cant. We're going to rotate the cant about the inside rail. If you want to specify a virtual transition length, then you can specify it here. I've set a value of 30 meters, but on our scheme, we do have transitions, so it will not use this value. 
and consequently it won't use the part that's online and the name for the cant is going to be called cant and you will see here here is your cant alignment generated you can if you wish to if you select the cant alignment you can alter the values that you've just set in the create cant tool in this case we're not going to do that we're going to leave them as defined the next stage is to assign the cant to the corridor to do this we need to go back to the corridor file so again we're going to go back to file browse and pick the corridor file if the geometry was not attached to the corridor file you would have to attach it now but in our case the geometry file is already attached because we needed it to generate the corridor and this green object here is our cant alignment and what we need to do is to assign it to the corridor now I'm just going to open up the cross-section view here so I'm going to go back to corridors open the cross-section view and there we can see the cross-section <coughs> we're staying at our corridor uh, tools because cant is a point control so I'm going to select our corridor objects tool I'm going to locate our corridor and I'm going to go to point control there's the point control that we specified before for the right line ballast and I'm going to add a new point control now the point control is going to go from the start and end okay and the control description we're going to give to this is cant cant is a vertical type of control so the mode is set to vertical and the control type is our cant alignment so I'm just going to follow these through the prompts I'm now being asked to locate the cant so I'm going to locate the cant alignment off the display the center point cant I can pick from the pull down which is rail cant the left point is cant L and the right point is cant R priority I'm leaving as one and I'm just following through the prompts and the corridor objects tool reappears and there's our cant point control let me close the corridor objects tool and you can see on the display of the cross section our two points the left rail and the right rail are being counted let's go back to the rail tools and I'm going to report the cant alignment so here I'm going to go to cant report locate the cant element interval of 10 meters and you can see you get a cant report if you wish to edit the cant then you can go to edit cant select the cant alignment and the editor appears so you can select any of these options here in the list for the speed table and you can click in the box and edit the count we're not doing any editing on this particular alignment at this moment in time but I wanted to show you that you could if you wish to edit the count if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more such series consider subscribing to our channel thank you and see you next time